what is going on guys it is your boy tell coming at you with another video and today we're going to talk about how instant gratification is killing your happiness all right let me know if you guys missed the style videos i will return to those very soon i have a big surprise coming up very soon just bear with me please but anyways if you if you guys enjoy men's style men's lifestyle please hit that subscribe button and that being said let's keep this fit and let's get right into the video let's go number one check the amount of sodium that you take you gotta understand that sodium increases the local dopamine synthesis. So every time you eat something that's high in, in uh, sodium, it increases your dopamine levels. Eventually, it just has to go down. And sometimes, it may actually go lower than base level. Instead of that, opt for something that is like um, uh, not so high in sodium. So I'm gonna give you an example, right? If you like Doritos every day, that's my personal favorite. I love Doritos. But just recently, I replaced the Doritos every morning with some plantain chips, which are lower in sodium. Now, I did like a little test, right? Not a little test, but I work at a grocery store. I spoke about this in another video, but anyways, I look. I work at a grocery store, and I was looking at that how the even the small like 50 cent bag of chips are like just so high off the roof of sodium. I think the number was 240, or no, 140 percent sodium, or something like that. No, no, milligrams of sodium. And some plantain chips were 50 mil of, you know what I mean, of um, sodium and stuff like that. And what I also noticed that the, the less sodium I started consuming, the more hungrier I got and the more happier I just started being, all right? So yeah, moving on to number two, let's go. Number two, now this is something hard that we're gonna have to do. Limit the amount of social media intake that you have. I know, I know. Trust me, I'm a Gen Zer, all right? I'm a Gen Zer, and this is gonna be difficult for me as well, but if you go on your smartphone, and what I do, I have an Android, so basically what I do is I have to tap on um, the home screen, I guess, and it shows you. Actually, you know what? I'll put a video um, of that on screen, all right? So basically what happens, if you look at right here, and actually shows how much social media intake, intake you've been having, um, you gotta understand, that just like the sodium, the social media adds a surge of, sur surge of dopamine that keeps you coming back for more. The more likes you get, the more you're willing to go and check for the likes. In addition, in addition, the algorithm keeps you coming back for more as well. Actually, what I found is that when you're swiping on TikTok or Instagram Reels or, or Facebook Reels, whatever the case may be, for whatever reason, you just keep coming back for more and more and more. And the thing is, the algorithm is programmed to keep us divided as a society. You know what I mean? So me personally, as a guy, I personally get a lot of red pill stuff on my on my freaking algorithm and stuff like that. And at some point, I'm like, all right, bro, like I, I can only watch a few of those videos and then I just got to put it aside because... It, 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 it gives you this toxic mindset that it's like, yeah, you know, screw the matrix. You know what I mean? Like, just, just relax on that a little bit, dude. You know what I mean? In addition to this, you got to understand that social media only shows you 0.1% of a person's life. You know what I mean? So, therefore, um, that person will only show a small fraction, not even a small fraction, like just 1% of their actual lives. And then that makes you want to have that expectation for your life to be. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want you guys to fall into that. You know what I mean? Understand that, you know, just keep on pushing. Understand that social media is not real. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier, it only shows you 0.1% of a person's life. And in addition to that, literally, like, it, it only shows, it, it, it makes it more accessible to the one percenters to, to flaunt their lifestyle and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, moving on to number three. Number three... Now, this, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, right? Since I'm a style YouTube channel. Um, you indulge in retail therapy a lot. You know what I mean? Now, this one hits close to home because I in, in, indulge in retail therapy a lot. I mean, look at my closet. I have a lot of clothes back here. You know what I mean? So, it's like I indulge in retail therapy. You know what I mean? So, you know, when you buy something and you're expecting it in the mail, that just that, that anticipation is just building up like, yes. I'm gonna get these new pair of Jordans, and I'm gonna get these new pair of Kohans, or whatever the case may be, right? From my personal experience, I know you guys feel this kind of experience. When you open up the box and you have it in your hand, you take out the shoe, or you take out whatever you're, you want, your mind automatically goes to, now what? Now what? 
You know what I mean? Like, and that leaves you kind of feeling sad because you got to understand that you've built this anticipation of buying something. You're like, yes, I'm going to get it. I'm going to do this with this. I'm going to do that with that. And then it just... It's just such an underwhelming feeling. It's just, it, for, for whatever reason, it just leaves me feeling a little bit like, oh, man, all that anticipation for nothing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, moving on to the conclusion. Let's go. And finally, to the conclusion. In conclusion, there are things that we do every day that spike up our dopamine to a very dangerous level. And in my opinion, the stuff that I've listed on here are some of the main causes of them. I heard something the other day, and, you know, I, I, I did my own research, and... It was about opioid use, and I heard something that, you know, given enough time with the opioid use, your brain stops producing the dopamine and, you know, stops producing the serotonin that are quite necessary for you to be happy, essentially, you know what I mean? And I'm wondering if there's something similar going on in today's mental health crisis, you know? We are eating foods that are packed with sodium that spike up your dopamine level to a dangerous amount of level, but then once it's done, once the effect is all said and done, it goes down below base level. You know what I mean? Leading you to feel very terrible. Um, terrible. You know what I mean? And, and feel bad about yourself. When you go on social media and, you know, you're, you're, you're scrolling and you live for the likes. When you don't get the same likes that you get, you get depressed. Trust me, I've been there. You know what I mean? You don't think when I post a YouTube video and I don't get the same likes that I didn't get on the other YouTube video, I, I, get, I get sad and depressed. You know what I mean? Not sad and depressed, but... I feel slightly worse about myself. I'm not going to lie to you, man. You know, and I feel like a lot of people go for the same way. But can you imagine the people that don't even get any attention on social media and stuff like that? You know what I mean? And and, and it kind of messes with your mind a little bit. And again, for the, um, the people that indulge in retail therapy, that means you're trying to fill in a void that you don't have already. You know what I mean? That means you're trying to replace what you feel like you're missing with materialistic thoughts because you think in the long run materialistic thoughts are gonna are gonna make you feel better in the long run newsflash they don't you know what i mean it really doesn't you know what i mean i actually wrote something similar in my journal right i wrote something similar in my journal and basically what i wrote was ever since we were kids you know we did things that made us feel happy you know what i mean we ate you know chips that had high sodium in it we drank the pop with the caffeine in it all that sugar, all that sodium just made us feel super happy. You know what I mean? Got us hyper. Hyper as a kid. Even candy, all this stuff made us super, super hyper. You know what I mean? But as we got older, we just needed something that reached up to that same high that we had before. And it's not going to be the same and it's never going to be the same. You know what I mean? Something, And this is something that I deemed in my journal. It was called the opioid effect. So basically what happens is, and what I was talking about earlier, is that your tolerance towards these things gets so high that you don't even feel the effect anymore. You know what I mean? But even when you get off of it, you've damaged your brain so badly to the point where, you know, you don't even feel the happiness no more. You destroy your dopamine levels really badly. And I wonder if that's what's going on in today's society. You know what I mean? We're doing, we're, we're overstimulating our brains with so much dopamine that it's just, it's hard to get back to that level again. And the bare minimum doesn't even make us happy no more. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I'm gonna do a video for you guys on how to do a dopamine detox, and I'm gonna tell, and I'm gonna hop on that journey with you guys, so you guys won't have to do it alone. Okay? So yeah, you know, just hang in there. You know, try not to be hooked on social media, junk goods, or you know, or social media or anything, man. You know what I mean? Or 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 self indulgence. You know what I mean? Just Relax, try to live a humble lifestyle, you know what I mean? So yeah, moving on to the outro, let's go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram. Details out.